After switching to swing trading for about six months, I decided to go back to day trading this week. And let me tell you, it just did not go well. Day trading was awesome. I did it for five years, like I said, and I had a lot of success with it. But I honestly just wanted to be on the charts less. I wanted to be on the charts less. I wanted to go do things right with my time and be more efficient in other areas, other avenues of life. And this was around summertime. I did make this decision as well. So because I wasn't used to the emotions anymore that came with day trading, I ended up making a lot of mistakes. I ended up over trading. I ended up trying to force setups just to try and pass my challenges. Before we begin, I just wanna give you a little breakdown or a little background story on how this all started. For anyone who is new to the channel, I've been day trading for five years now, just over five years. And for the past six to seven months, I fully switched to swing trading and it's been amazing. So I got introduced to swing trading and I immediately saw all the pros and I saw all the exponential potential uh, with it. So for the past six months, like I said, that's exactly what I did. And honestly, I saw the best progress in my trading that I have in years. I literally broke through plateaus and just everything seemed like it was going right. I had so much more freedom. There was no more stress that was coming with day trading. I was able to live a much more flexible life. I was golfing in the morning with friends. I was going out for breakfast with my parents. I was doing things in the mornings uh, that I normally would, wouldn't be able to do because I would be day trading for, you know, four hours or so uh, throughout each day. But yeah, it just nearly wasn't as stressful. You day traders out there know the stress that comes with day trading the very, very quick movements, very, very sporadic movements. You're fighting back so much emotions. You have to be so focused, so laser focused the whole time or else you can make a mistake to lose thousands. And yeah, this is a feeling that I just didn't feel with swing trading. It's way more relaxed. It's way more um, lackadaisy and you just feel great, right? It's You feel amazing. And I was no longer getting swept, right? How many times as a day trader are you in the market, you get taken out by three pips, four pips, five pips just for the market to go in your overall direction. This was happening to me like crazy where I would get swept by like literally a pip, sometimes just by spread, and then the market just beeline for my take profit. This is something that absolutely frustrated me like crazy because I'm right, but I'm wrong at the same time. It was just unreal being able to be away from the charts and seeing profit or heck even drawdown. It was just super, super easy to do. So now fast forward to the last two weeks. Swing trading was going great. My group was crushing it. The arm trading community was crushing it. We were having swing trades every single day, pretty much it felt like, uh, in terms of opportunities, at least multiple per week. Uh, I was maybe exaggerating a little bit there, but everything was going great. We were finding amazing opportunities day after day, week after week. It was great. And then of course, if you wanna have the fast weeks, guess what's gonna come? There's gonna be slow weeks. With any strategy, that's just the reality of it, right? And yeah, I was just absolutely crushing it. I was doing 600K in challenges and literally all of them were smashing it. I was in phase twos, I was in phase ones that were about to be into phase twos and everything was great. Hey guys, I just wanted to quickly interrupt this video letting you know that we are doing a Black Friday sale on RM Trading right now. I'm doing $300 off of the Lifetime program. Make sure to go in the description of this video, check out the website. Like I said, $300 off. If you guys know me, I don't do any discounts throughout the year. This is the biggest one. This is Black Friday for RM Trading. If you're wanting to join the community, you wanna learn from me, you wanna be around other like-minded traders and have endless learning content, Make sure to go down below, check out the description of the video. Use the code FRIDAY300 to get $300 off your purchase. Appreciate you all. Let's get back to the video. Now, because I was buzzing on those challenges, because I saw the end in sight, the end goal of getting max funding with FTMO, getting max funding with uh, Think Capital, I started to see the end in sight. I started to see the light at the end of the tunnel and I started to get impatient, right? I started to get antsy. Because as you guys know, it's November, the end of the year is coming up. And ideally I set a goal for myself. I wanted to have all this funding done by mid December so I can relax for the rest of the year and get ready for 2025. So when that slow week came, when that slow two week period came where I didn't see any swing opportunities or not as many as I did, I got impatient and I let FOMO get the best of me. So like I said, markets according to my strategy became very, very slow. And after such an amazing month, that's expected. So what I ended up doing was getting sucked into the FOMO getting the impatience because I kept seeing people on social media posting their winning day trades, you know, and I got shiny bald. Advice that I give to you guys all the time, don't get shiny bald, I fell victim to. And it came back to haunt me, let me tell you. And I'll share that in just a few moments. So I decided to jump right back into day trading full force. Now, if you remember my vlog from a little bit ago, probably from like two weeks ago where I shared that I was going back to day trading, I said I was gonna be a trader. So I was gonna day trade and swing trade, right? But instead, I threw swing trading out the window. I didn't look at swing trading setups anymore. I literally was just day trading. I went back to my condensed list of like six or seven pairs, which when day trading, that is a lot of pairs by the way. And I just was full force day trading. And well, let me tell you, it wasn't the best decision. So I started flip flopping between the five and six pairs. And before I fully switched over, I closed a trade, a swing trade actually, that was at break even 
I ended up closing it. And of course, it went right to my 4% target pretty much instantly within the next coming days. I ended up taking six day trades within this period, one win, two break evens, and four losses, four of which came in a row. I had four day trading losses in a row. And I'm risking 2% on these challenges, right? I'm risking 2% on my personal. So you lose four trades in a row, you're really losing 8% plus commissions. It's not a fun time. This sucked. I got absolutely wrecked. And it's because I got impatient. It's because I thought the grass was greener on the other side. Greener on the side that I already left. I already knew didn't serve me as well as swing trading did. And because I got impatient, because I got FOMO, this lesson ended up costing me a lot of money. It absolutely wrecked all of the progress I had on all these challenges that were all going so well. I felt the stress again. I felt the pressure again. I felt all the emotions that come with day trading. And you know, when you're in the thick of it, when you've been day trading, you just expect that those emotions are just how it is. But I'm here to tell you, when you swing trade, you quickly realize, wow, this isn't supposed to feel crazy. You know, my, my uh, cortisol isn't supposed to be spiked. My adrenaline isn't supposed to be buzzing right now when I'm in a trade. The difference between swing trading and, and day trading is crazy because when you're swing trading, everything is so chill and slow pace, right? It's in slow motion. You have so much more time to make decisions. I feel like you don't enter based on impulse, right? Because you have so much time to think. You have so much time to analyze. You can go break even at a slower pace. You know, you don't have to rush and do this and this. When you're day trading, it's like boom, 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 boom. Oh my God, what happened? I just pressed Alt Z and now I'm down a thousand bucks. This, 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 you know what I mean? And yeah, obviously it has its pros. You can make quick money as well. But for me, and just how I felt as a trader and how I wanted to progress and develop and evolve as a trader, swing trading was the outlet for me to do that. And I was seeing the results right away. But like I said, FOMO and impatience got the best of me. The crazy thing is, if I had just stayed patient throughout that two week period, both trades that I analyzed and sent to our arm trading community would have hit my full take profit. So the first one was on Euro GBP, that would have hit take profit for 4%. And the other one was on GBP CAD. It was a short that would have hit my full take profit for four to 5%. These two trades would have passed both of my phase ones and my phase twos. I would have been sitting here talking to you guys, achieving my goal of being 600 plus K funded in a matter of month, two months. That trade also would have netted about 10 K on my personal. So two trades would have made $10,000 on my personal. But because I was impatient, because I let FOMO get the best of me, instead of taking two trades that were swings, I ended up taking six day trades I mean down thousands. Now, I'm not sitting here wrecking day trading. This is a journal, this is a reflection video talking about how my mistakes can hopefully help you, right? This is something that I got shiny balled and I'm talking to you about this because I talk about shiny ball syndrome and getting sucked into something that appears better on the other side because that's just how we are as humans. Now, I don't know why this happens to me sometimes, but whenever things are going great for me, I'm so obsessed with trying to get better and better that I think that me doing nothing and me being patient when the markets are slow is holding me back sometimes. And it's funny how this works. It's funny how this works and it's funny how I let this get the best of me. I let something like this get the best of me. And I'm just very, very grateful that I have an outlet that I can share this with you all and hopefully help you all become better traders and learn from it. Because the truth is, even when you think you have it figured out, even when you're five years into your journey and finding success and doing well, you're gonna have moments like this that creep in and it happens. One thing I'm extremely grateful for is that it happened now. It happened now during these challenges. You know, it didn't happen when I was already funded with this capital and you know, maybe wanted to try and do this and make quick money or whatever it is. Now, one thing I also wanna to touch on is how important it is to listen to yourself and your personality. If you like swing trading, swing trade. If you like day trading, day trade. It's as simple as that. Let me take a minute to talk about one of the best new prop firms in the industry, Think Capital. Think Markets, a fully regulated broker, has entered the prop space. This is huge for us traders. With over 15 years of broker experience and regulation, this gives us another prop firm we can trust. We can trade right from TradingView or you can use the classic MT5. With up to 300K in max allocation and they also offer to US clients. I know this is amazing news to my American trader friends. You can even withdraw your profits right to your Think Markets broker account. If you use the code ARM Trading, you will get 15% off any challenge. Please make sure you sign up and create an account, then at checkout the code will work. The code is also case sensitive, so make sure you type it in exactly how it is shown. Let's get back to the video. So yeah, the grass simply isn't greener on the other side. It's green where you water it, baby. I think that's Big Sean who said that, Justin Bieber, Big Sean. Who knows, maybe it was Gandhi. 
Maybe it was me, but this is why I'm sharing with you to hopefully elevate you, hopefully allow you to become a better trader and progress and get 1% better every single day. This is okay. This is behind me. I'm able to learn from this. I'm able to develop and I'm able to grow from this, right? And I'm able to go into this week as that swing trader Mac. And you know what? If I see a day trade on the 15 minute time frame, I'll take that. But I'm gonna have one account that I do mess around with that stuff on and not just fully switch everything over just because I'm impatient, just because I have FOMO. It's okay to feel these emotions. This is gonna happen to you. I promise if you're watching this video, it's either happened to you already or it's about to one day. But just embrace it all and understand that what you're doing, when you have success, you're finding success, what you're doing is working. Stick with it, please. Stop getting shiny bald, stop falling for the next thing. I'm so grateful for trading, so, so grateful for this career because it develops you so much. You grow as a person, as an individual, because if you don't, you're not gonna become that trader. You know, trading matures you, it allows you to become the best version of yourself. You have to grow into the successful trader. You don't possess the traits of a successful trader. You grow into that person based on mistakes, based on the trial and tribulations, right? The highs and the lows, they all help shape you into the person you're supposed to be on this journey, which is great. Because just remember, I won six trades in a row not too long ago. And I think a little bit of a losing streak here was bound to happen. Now, if I went back in time and didn't start day trading here, I would have been fine. But it is what it is. The beauty thing about money is you get to make it back. And the lessons you learn from that money are limitless, right? You can't put a price on some of those lessons. So I'm glad I was able to share this story with you guys and be upfront and honest because I feel like it's gonna help you like crazy. It was an expensive mistake, but a necessary one to learn. And I'm so happy I'm able to share this with you. What do I say at the end of every single video? Let's be 1% better every single day. I appreciate you all. Please smash that like button. Please subscribe if you're new. We're almost at 60,000. Please drop a comment on this video, letting me know what you would like me to talk about next, or maybe share a story in the comments about your trading journey and I can chime in and give you some advice, but I appreciate you all and I'll see you in the next video.